Hey my beautiful shining stars, welcome back to my channel. Hope that you're having a wonderful day, nah, whatever it may be. Know that you're awesome and amazing and I'm so glad you clicked on this video today. I also wanna say happy Thanksgiving because I'm going to be doing a Thanksgiving get ready with me. And usually with my get readies with me, it's like makeup, hair, outfit, the whole shebang. I would love for you to be a part of this beautiful shining star family. So if you haven't already, you could subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos. Thanksgiving, oh my goodness, one of my favorite holidays as I was growing up as a kid. I remember going to my mom's side of the families and my grandma would prepare this masterpiece feast for us. And we'd get all around the table, have our cozy fall clothes on and we would say what we were thankful for and then dig in, get fat and full, take a nap, wake up, go to my dad's side of the family's house and do it all over again. Ugh, pumpkin spice latte, courtesy of Jacob Elijah Lincoln. <laughs> All right, let's get started, shall we? Jumping on in, I'm gonna change it up a little bit and start with the eyes instead of the face, and I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Palette. Ooh, this one is a desert dust palette, and you guys, can I just show you the glory of this palette? Oh my goodness, look at those shadows. Yes, there is matte. Yes, there is shimmer, metallic -y, and glitter. I'm also going to be using a bit of the Peanut Butter Jelly Time palette by Too Faced. You guys, this palette is also amazing. I'm gonna be focusing on this color right here. But can I tell you, I use some of this on my lips and I went like that, you know, like to add the shine. And I remember just like nonchalantly going like, and it tastes good. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it like that, but I did. And not only does it smell good, but it tastes good. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer all over my lid here. And this is just gonna help create a nice base for those shadows to stick on to. All right, starting off with the peanut butter jelly time. Never gets old. I am going to take this nice dark color Jamming, we be jamming. I'm gonna place it all over my lid. Again, it's okay if you mess up because we're just gonna be going over it with other colors anyway. Okay, now that we have the lids covered, I'm gonna go in with this nice brown color. So I'm gonna go just right above or like inside the crease area with that sucker. When I first got this palette, I wanted to call it Huda Beauty, but I found out, and I still could be wrong, that it's Huda, like the hood of your car. I think it's like around 60 bucks, which is higher end, but the quality is really, really good. But before I purchased it, I ended up getting it in the mail with a bunch of other goodies from them, and you guys, I'm in love. I, I really love this brand. It's fabulous. All right, so now I'm going to go in with Oop. This orangish shadow and a little bit of the red, these two. And then I'm gonna go back over to that peanut butter jelly and I'm gonna take extra creme and I'm gonna place that right on the braid boom for a nice highlight. I'm gonna take that um, color Eden and go right open here. Going back to that saffron and oud, I'm gonna put that right underneath my bottom lash line. Alrighty then. I'm gonna go in with some liner here. This is the 24 seven Urban Decay liner. And this stuff is pretty like strong, you guys. This is in perversion. No, don't know about that name, but it works really good. You little speckle. I don't know why I'm blowing it. I'll tell you why. Cause I got used to back in the day using the Maybelline liner and what I do, I learned it from my sister. You light it on fire a little bit and then you let it cool off and you go and then you put it on. So that's why. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this on my lash line. And bringing it down. And 
then I'm gonna line my waterline. Well, I didn't mean to make a cat eye, but what do you know, there it is. So once you get the liner the way you want it, you can go ahead and get in that crazy torture device as Jacob thought it was, the eyelash curler, and curl them lashes for some lift. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my big tease from Buxom. Buxom mascara. And I'm just starting at the bottom of the lash line and wiggling up. My favorite Thanksgiving side is definitely green bean casserole. Mm. I also like the honey, like the candy yams with the marshmallows on top. And even like after Thanksgiving, we usually I like have tons and tons of leftovers. So we have like sandwiches and everything for the week afterwards. And you know what guys, you know how I am and how I feel about glitter and sparkle and everything like that. <sighs> I just need some. So you could leave it like it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, Max Glitter Reflex up on jar, just for some sparkle and shine. Next, I'm gonna take some lashes from Huda Beauty. And honestly, they say number 11, but I don't know if they actually are number 11. I've been using them and been like swapping them out because I haven't been putting them back exactly where they were. So I'm not sure what lashes these are. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my lash glue using the ends of my tweezers on the last strip. And I'm gonna wanna let it get tacky before I put it on. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take these and apply as close to the lash line as possible. And adjust with the tweezers. Just look at the difference between like this eye and that eye. What lashes, power of lashes, you guys. And bam, dramatic lashes. Mm. Mm. So now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm gonna move on to my face and I definitely need moisturizer because you guys, it's a negative 22 below zero here in Alaska right now in North Pole. And so to combat that cracky skin, I'm gonna be using this Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. Mmm. And just rub it into my face. I was very, very thirsty right now. Mmm, it smells like orange pills. It's also like, it cools as you're putting it on the skin, it feels good. And then also on the neck. <sighs> For fresh dress. And then I'm gonna take this little beauty blender that I got from e.l.f. Cosmetics and take my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Naturalizing Correcting Cream. A little dip dip. And begin to apply. And it's like, Throughout my face, I have red blotches, so I'm just gonna smooth this all over. And then for the foundation, I am using It's Bye Bye Lines Foundation, which I absolutely love, and I am using Medium and Deep. And then I'm gonna contour my nose using my Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. And then I'm gonna conceal underneath my eyes and use it as a highlighter down the bridge of my nose as well with my Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. And this is in Light Warm, Light Warm. I'm gonna go over it with my It's Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout uh, powder. And as you guys could tell, I'm obsessed with it right now because I'm just really loving how it makes my skin look. <laughs> And for 
blush, I'm gonna use my Lottie London's uh, Blush Crush in Harry. As Jacob said, Harry Styles. And I'm just gonna plop that on my cheeks. It's a very like orangey blush. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Winter Highlighter, and this actually cracked in the mail, which I <laughs> But I'm gonna use these two bottom ones, Northern Lights and Winter Rose. Speaking of the Northern Lights, they're out right now, and it's killing Jacob. They, when they come out, they're so beautiful, you guys. <laughs> Gonna sweep that right up on her. Then I'm gonna go right down the nose with the northern light. And this at the tip. Boop, 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 boop. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, for the brows, I'm gonna go ahead and use my L'Oreal uh, brow stylist and begin to fill them in. And finally, for my lips, I'm gonna use Makeup Forever's um, lip liner in N20, just to outline the lips. Oh yes, we could just leave it like that, but I'm gonna go over it with Huda Beauty's Liquid Matte Lipstick, and this is in Girlfriend. And honestly guys, my nieces used this lipstick, and I used it, and we tested it all day long. This has been the best liquid lipstick that I've used, and I love it. Mwah. Because I liked the peanut butter jelly, the rich and creamy gold, I'm just gonna Pop that in the center of the lips too. Now that I'm all done with the face, I'm gonna move on to the hair. You guys, I'm super excited about the hair because I got a package this week and I didn't even think I was gonna get it, but I got it. And it's the Bellamy Hair Graveyard Girl Collection, you guys! When is the cartoon coming out? Because this is like fabulous. I don't know who the artist is, but props to you because that looks Amazing. So it came in this ginormous case right here. And inside of it, let me see if I could even do this. Okay, cause I kinda already opened it. <laughs> but I mean, you could kinda see just the gatorness that's going on here. What? How cool is this? It's straight up shape, you know, the blow dryer shape, but it looks like the alligator. It has the alligator on there. That. We're talking about innovation here, people. The flat iron as well, it says Graveyard Girl, and Bunny is just amazing. I remember doing the Nick Face Awards hosting, co-hosting a couple years back, and she was one of the judges, and she is just amazing, beautiful inside and out, and honestly, I love her because she's hilarious. But yeah, it comes with three different wands, and I'm gonna be using this one today, and I'm just gonna be taking my hair out. It also came with clamps, and a teasing brush. Those of you guys who have been wondering about my bows lately, it's just straight up scarf, and I tie it in a bow around my hair and then bobby pin it in, it's that simple. Once I um, get the bow around my head, I tuck, <laughs> see that? I just tuck the excess into the bow itself. Okay, so that's going off. And this is day old hair, and I actually used my bedhead, I think it's called the Wave Artist, for the crimper, so don't mind this hot mess. Since it is day old hair, I'm gonna be using my Patisse Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo, and this one smells like cherries, and it is so good. So I'm just gonna spritz that all up in my hair to soak up any of the oils that were up in there. And then I'm just gonna brush it out real quick. Ooh. Okay. As you guys can see, like the wave stylist usually lasts me a couple of days and I have really thin hair, so it gives me like the desired volume that I need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and split it into some sections here. 
Boop. And take these snazzy little gator claw clips. <laughs> Look at that little teeth. And secure that there. So on the curling wand, it comes with three different options. I'm using like the smaller one, and then there's like a bigger one. And look at just how beautiful holographic. Hello. And then there's like this whirly twirly unicorn head one. But when you lock it in, make sure it matches up lock and lock, otherwise it won't work. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna roll my hair back onto it like so. Oh yeah, and it should give you a nice little lock there. And we're just gonna take it section by section, just pulling it over and away down the barrel. All right guys, I got my face did, I got my hair did. Now all I need is my outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take off my PJs and get dressed. All right, for this video, I decided to go Thanksgiving glam. Go glam or go home. So I wore this long flowy maxi dress from Forever 21. I absolutely love the colors and the floral design on it. It's just a very beautiful dress. So these shoes I got while I was in Russia, I can't exactly remember where they're from, but I love the bling on them. And my blinged out necklace is from Ashley Fox. Now I'm ready for a nice dinner with friends and family. And that is it for my Thanksgiving get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment in the comment section below what you're thankful for. And I am definitely thankful for all of my beautiful shining stars out there. Thank you for all your love, prayers, and support. You guys mean the world to me. And remember, you are beautiful, baby. So shine like a star. Mwah.